with greatest regret. Kate bursts into tears after pridefully praying for the fallen on remembrance. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, appeared to be close to tears as she paid tribute to the fallen at the cenotaph. Kate appeared to be deeply moved during today's national service of remembrance. The Duchess of Cambridge was caught on camera with her eyes closed and tight lips while proudly standing on one of the balconies of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. The Duchess of Cambridge stepped out of Kensington Palace this morning in an elegant black military-style jacket with red shoulder lapels and a high-neck white collar. During the commemorations, Kate joined other senior royals, government officials and members of the armed forces in a respectful two-minute silence. In accordance with the royal pecking order, Kate should have stood next to both the Queen and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. However, the Duchess took the center stage on the balcony, standing between Camilla and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, as Her Majesty pulled out of this solemn event. Buckingham Palace announced earlier this morning the Queen had suffered a back injury and decided with great regret to no longer travel to central London for the commemorations. The palace said in a statement, the Queen, having sprained her back, has decided this morning with great regret that she will not be able to attend today's Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph. Her Majesty is disappointed that she will miss the service. Kate and Camilla were together on the balcony last year and were standing two meters from one another as Remembrance Sunday 2020 fell in the midst of the second national lockdown. On the other hand, the Queen cut a lonely figure at the time as she witnessed the ceremony only in the company of a lady-in-waiting. During today's national service of remembrance, Kate looked on with pride as her husband Prince William laid a wreath of red poppies at the foot of the cenotaph. Kate's appearance today comes after a few busy weeks for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. In October, Kate and William's most important appointment was the first ever awards ceremony of the Earthshot Prize. This initiative was launched by William in October 2020 and will award over the next decade a total of £50 million to those presenting workable solutions to the five most pressing issues faced by the environment. Earlier this month, Kate and William led, alongside Prince Charles and Camilla, a charm offensive during COP26, the climate change summit held in Glasgow. Moreover, last week the Duke of Cambridge returned to support the Queen as he led an investiture ceremony at Windsor Castle. Among the people to receive an honour, there was football champion Marcus Rashford for his fight against child food poverty. Kate also recently carried out a solo engagement, as she met at Royal Hospital Chelsea a 98-year-old veteran, Colonel Blum, and 10-year-old scout, Emily, to speak about the importance of remembrance. On Saturday, the Cambridges joined other full-time working royals at the Royal Albert Hall for the yearly Festival of Remembrance. The Queen was not in attendance, as previously announced by Buckingham Palace, due to her doctor's advice to rest. Royal expert Katie Nicholl recently noted the Cambridges have been showing unity at the heart of the royal family in their recent engagements carried out with Charles and Camilla. The expert told OK. Magazine last week, this unity is happening at a time when there has been a lot of discord and fragmentation, and to really show the top tier of working royals. What you're seeing in this Fab Four is the future of the House of Windsor, in a very clear and deliberate image. The experts said the so-called Royal Fab Four are coming out in force to support the Queen. She also said, this is the future, the succession, we will have King Charles and Queen Camilla, more likely than not, and then King William and Queen Catherine. So they are presenting unity, succession and a great deal of optimism and positivity for the future of the royal family. The Queen's absence comes after she missed previous royal engagements in the last month over health concerns. In October, she suddenly cancelled a trip to Northern Ireland based on medical advice from her doctor and later spent the night in the hospital for preliminary investigations. Recently, doctors advised the Queen to rest for two weeks and cancel all official visits, prompting her to miss the United Nations Climate Change Conference.